If you've seen my video yesterday, then you know I was working on my dark room, and I also was working on making a couple screens. Today's video, if you are looking to start your own screen printing business, then you are gonna wanna save some money. If you go and buy screens, they are about 10 or 15, maybe even more dollars a piece. Why would you pay 10, 15, 20 dollars for one screen when you could literally go out and buy all the materials yourself and make them for anywhere from, let's say, 2 dollars to 5 dollars? No comparison, eh? Stick around and that's what today's video is going to be. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to make my screens and you guys could do the exact same thing if you want. When I say screens, I mean this right here. I'm going to show you guys how you can make these bad boys yourself. It's super easy and you only need a couple of items. This video today may be a little boring, but there's going to be some useful knowledge in there. And if you want to start your own screen printing business, definitely, definitely, definitely build your own screens and save some money. Let's go over the materials you're going to need to build your own screens. Number one, you're going, depending on the wood you're going to use, um, you're going to need a staple gun and some glue and some screws. So a little side note, when you're getting the glue to make your screens, make sure that it's waterproof glue because your screens are going to be constantly in water or underwater or getting water splashed on them, so make sure that it's waterproof glue. That right there is the screen and the dimensions on it are going to be uh, 24 by 20. Now, to get the outside dimensions of 20 by 24, what we're going to have to do is cut two pieces at 24 inches, and then we're going to have to cut two pieces at 15 inches. We have to cut those two pieces at 15 inches because the width of these boards is two and a half inches. So two and a half inches on one side, two and a half inches on the other side equals five inches. So 20 inches minus five is 15, and that's how you come up with your width of 15 inches and 24 inches for your length. Well, I got the two pieces cut right here. They're at 15 inches. The next two I'm gonna get cut are the ones at 24 inches. All the pieces are cut. I have two pieces at 24 inches and I have two pieces at 15 inches. The next steps are gonna be to get those lined up and to get those glued and stapled. Our two inside 15 inch pieces right here, we're gonna put glue on either end of those. What we're gonna do now that we have these glued on the ends is we're gonna stick these in between our two 24 inch pieces. Put them right in between your 24 inch pieces. Move them so they're nice and flush with your everything else and push them together. Okay, so we have our pieces in place with the glue on them. The next step is to go over the seams with a staple gun. Once you have the first side all uh, stapled and glued, then you can flip it over and do the second side as well, just to give it a little bit more stability and rigidness. The next step in making your own screens is getting the mesh on. What you are looking for is a 110 count mesh. All right, hopefully you all can see me. Gotta bend down a little bit, that's okay. So we're gonna grab our staple gun right here. And when you start to staple it, just pick one corner here and start in that corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay a staple right here in this first corner to get me going. All right, now that I have this corner, my first corner stapled, once you get your first corner stapled, you're going to go progressively all around the screen, putting one staple in each corner. So I started in this corner. Next, I'm going to pull my screen over this side pulling it this way, and then I'm gonna put another staple right in that corner right there. When you're pulling the mesh to get the tension on it, just be sure that when you do pull, that you don't pull too tight. 
because it will rip the mesh right out of the staple and then you'll have to try it again. You'll be able to feel the right amount of tension. I have my four corners stapled. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is on two sides. So I'm gonna do this side and this side right there. On those two sides, I'm gonna run down my staple gun and I'm gonna do staples probably every three quarters of an inch or an inch. Those two sides are stapled in and now this is where you're actually gonna put tension on your screen. So now that you have all those staples and be a little bit gentle and even though you're pulling with quite a little bit of force, uh, you don't wanna rip your screen. You don't wanna rip the screen out of your staples because there goes a piece of mesh that you can't use. So the next step is just, we're gonna go on the remainder two sides and we are gonna pull that nice and taut and put a staple in right where we pull it taut. All right, we're gonna go on our third side right here and we're gonna grab it right in the middle and start just, you can feel the tension on it. Start pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. And when you have a good amount of tension on it, put your staple right where your thumb is. All right, on this other side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I just did. Put my thumb right in the middle, give it a little pull. When I can feel the tension on it really well, that's when I can place a staple in. But that's the process that you're gonna do for the remainder two sides. Once you get those first staples in on those two sides where you pull it taut, do the exact same thing, slowly moving your fingers down, pulling it tight, and where you have your thumb, put a staple right there. Move on down, pull it tight, put a staple. Move to the other side, pull it tight, put a staple. There you have it, that's how you make a screen. But wait, there is one more thing that you have to do just to make sure that your screen mesh is nice and tight. All right, it has passed the bouncy test. It is bouncy, it is nice and tight and taut. There's a screen. This is gonna be a two for video. Two separate knowledge points and two different tutorials. So uh, right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a super cheap exposure unit. And what an exposure unit is, literally what an exposure unit is, is gonna be just, uh, it's gonna be a floodlight right there as you see. And it's gonna be some pieces of wood. So you're gonna need five pieces of wood. And uh, the measurements are going to be, you're gonna need three pieces at 24 inches. You're gonna need one piece at 18 inches and then one piece at nine inches. Now that we have all the pieces cut, we are gonna set them out and get them screwed together and get our exposure unit on the go. So you wanna set your base up just like that. Two 24s on the bottom, use your 18 on the back. Put your nine on the top, just like you see as that. And then we're gonna screw them all together. Base is made and the neck is made. Now we just have to put those two bad boys together. There you have it. There is an exposure unit. Super, super cheap. There is just one more step we need to do to complete this bad boy. And that is attach our floodlight. That right there is a 600 watt floodlight that I'm just gonna screw on right to the top.
that's gonna be the video for the day, folks. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial video on how to make your own screens and save a bunch of money and how to make your own exposure unit just by having a couple pieces of odds and sods of wood lying around. So that's it right there behind me. The exposure unit and the screens and all of that good stuff. I much appreciate you guys checking out this video and hit that subscribe button if you liked it and you wanna follow along on this entrepreneurial journey with me. And until next time, have an awesome day or night or wherever you are in this world. Take it easy and just spread positivity. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.